Oxfam warns of the worst cholera outbreak in the world in Yemen. Here's a summary of the article. Oxfam has warned that war-torn Yemen risks a massive resurgence of cholera, with around 195,000 suspected cases of the disease recorded so far this year. Fears that the world's worst cholera outbreak could be set for a massive resurgence are growing, the relief organization said Thursday. The waterborne bacterial infection has claimed more than 3,000 lives in Yemen since the outbreak began in 2016, according to Oxfam. The doctor said Yemen badly needed international aid to combat the epidemic. The UN's Humanitarian Coordination Office OCHA said last month that children under the age of five make up nearly a third of this year's cases. The spike, which comes two years after Yemen suffered its worst cholera outbreak, was concentrated in six governorates including in the Red Sea port of Hodeida and Sana'a province, both combat zones, it said. Yemen's conflict, which pits Iran-linked rebels against a regional pro-government alliance led by Saudi Arabia, has left some 10,000 people dead since 2015 and pushed millions to the brink of famine. This post received a score of 28,326, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Damn. Yemen really can't catch a break. Well Saudi Arabia has bombed their water treatment facility, so this is according to plan. Bio-warfare genocide, which sounds like a death metal band's album, is basically happening right now. God damn it why is the world still trying appeasement with bully countries? It's not appeasement if you're actively supporting them. The US and UK are allies of Saudi Arabia and support them in their monstrous war in Yemen. They consider it the lesser evil to allowing the Houthis to gain control, who are sympathetic to Iran. Welcome to geopolitics, where the only thing that matters is an arcane concept of the balance of power, human lives and suffering are ancillary concerns. Technically the US Congress voted to stop their support of this war. So to be correct, only the president is supporting this from the American side. Which makes no sense because the president can't go to war without the approval of Congress save for like a three-week period, and then Congress has to approve, re-up said conflict. So if Congress wants it to end, why don't they just stop consenting? Or is that wrong? America isn't fighting a war in Yemen. Supporting one of the warring sides isn't considered fighting a fake. But you're right, somebody gotta do something about what's happening. Saudi Arabia and Friends Connection is temporarily unavailable. You cannot fast travel when enemies are nearby. Yemenis. Pub aside though, the people dying of cholera definitely didn't start this war. Greater than pub. Try and separate me from my local. I dare you. Pun joke aside, no. The port that was their major lifeline got nuked last year. Dash 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 dash. Edit. Fixed link. Saudis drop US bombs on water treatment plants correct? And hospitals, and funerals, and weddings, and buses full of children. It's not just the bombs, but also the logistical support. I think the important thing to remember is it will help against terrorism. If people see horrific, terrible acts that are clear acts of injustice they can be driven to terrorism. Luckily the United States hasn't done anything that could be described as horrific acts. Every single person that has a relative who is killed by US-made weapons will have a 100% positive view of the US. And every single person who sees someone dying due to U.S.-made weapons will have a 100% positive view of the U.S. So this was a sensible positive act. If someone gets revenge is that considered terrorism? I know this is sarcasm and where you come from but it really should get people thinking before they use that word. For some reason when the U.S. was in Iraq or any other country and a kid tries to attack a soldier in his neighborhood, why is he a terrorist? He's defending his home, isnt that every conservative's wet dream? To defend their home. Killing them and calling them terrorists when they attack back is just wrong. Government isnt breeding terrorists, they are the terrorists. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.